We're the Lockwoods, and we're traveling the world to experience up close and in person all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise be consuming only through textbooks and TV. After just two months since our last visit to the Philippines, our appreciation for this beautiful country has brought us back. And we're starting our adventures off here in Bonifacio Global City. BGC is the modern counterpoint to the centuries-old Chinatown culture that we experienced in Metro Manila the last time we were here. There are dozens of must-see, must-do activities in this family-friendly city, but since we're only here for two short days before beginning a week of Philippines island hopping, we're going to spend some time with a few new friends. Let's get to it. All right, we're starting off here in our hotel, or really a residence that we'll give you a tour of later. This is Raffles, and we're meeting up with a couple of really cool locals that we've been talking to online, and they're gonna take us out for an entire day of adventure, some of their favorite places. They've even gotten us a van, so we're gonna jump in now, and we're gonna start exploring. They brought us little breakfast treats. It's kind of a dessert breakfast treat, and this one is a tart. What kind of tart is it? Buco, Buco tart. tart. That's Buco tart. Her. Buco tart. And so it's a coconut flavor, which I love. Just like a coconut pie. Mmm. Mmm. I thought it was gonna be crumbly, but it's very soft. Very good. Perfect breakfast. We are at the Manila American Cemetery and Memorial. This was established in 1948. It was dedicated in 1960, and it's really a tribute to all of the American soldiers and a lot of Filipinos who died or were missing after World War II. Now, it may seem a little bit strange to have an American war memorial in the Philippines, but the reason for that, besides the fact that these Americans died here or are, were missing here, is that during World War II, the Japanese occupied the Philippines, and the Americans were fundamental in driving them out by the end of the war. Cole, can you guess how many gravestones there are here? 26,000. 26,000 is a good guess, and it's sort of in the middle. There are 17,000 gravestones here, but there are also 36,000 names on plaques for the missing, the people who were never found. So every one of these names are the people who were missing in action. However, they have found the remains of some of them and those people are designated with the little badge right here next to them. So if you see any of these, it means they have found them and technically they wouldn't belong on the missing boards anymore. They would be buried out under one of the cross tombstones. I'm really surprised with how beautifully maintained the whole place is. There are over 150 acres and it is just pristinely landscaped and you can see people working all over the place and it just shows you the level of respect that they have for this memorial here. And it's humbling to see this many people who have sacrificed their lives. Service <laughs> is... <laughs> Service is really important to our family, so um, we want to thank everybody who has served um, in our home country and in others and say thank you, thank you, thank you for your service. What a humbling start to our day. It is beautiful here and our next stop is very, very close by. We're in Venice. Italy? No, the Philippines. We are at the Venice Canals here in BGC, and it feels like we're in Italy. Obviously, you can do a gondola ride. We've done this in Las Vegas, where they have a very similar mall, and obviously that's the experience that you would have if you did this in Venice, Italy. They're decorating for Chinese New Year, which is on the 21st, coming up this Saturday for us. And this shopping center is surrounded by high-rise corporate buildings, where a huge percentage of international call center work is outsourced. So if you're calling your bank, credit card companies, Hewlett Packard for computer support, there's a very good chance that it's being routed right here. This is very different from our last trip to Manila. That was in the older side of Manila, where we went to Bonando, Chinatown, and we stayed next to the Mall of Asia right on the water. And this is much more of a metropolitan area. Very posh, very stylish. So two different worlds in one city but we're getting a bit hungry. Yeah, so we're jumping back in the van and heading south of town to try one of Echo and Tintel's favorite restaurants. But it takes a while to get here. It's about an hour drive outside of Manila. We're in Tagatai. We're gonna grab a little lunch here at Balai Dako, which means big house, and it's overlooking something very incredible for the area. It's a really popular place. We hear that no trip to Tagatai is complete 
unless you come here. Baledaco also has a deli and a bakery, and they're well known for their Muscovado filled unleavened flatbread that they make out in the open. This is P.I. So we just got a fresh pack, we're gonna try them now. Mm, this is hot. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is hot. Mm. So the jelly inside that Colt's talking about, it's like a coconut jam that's inside. Mm. These are yummy. I'm burning my fingers. Mm. People don't only come here for the food, they come here for the views as well. We're perched up really high, almost 2,000 feet above sea level, and we have this phenomenal view of the Ta'al Volcano. And it erupts every, I think, 10 years, and it had a, its eruption in 2020, so we're safe for now. But every now and then, it'll spew some ash or have a little steam come up. It's a beautiful day to look at it today. We've got quite the spread here. There's green beans with okra, eggplant, and a little bit of pork, grilled fish, and the star is bone marrow soup. And the fish is called pompano, and you can only get it here, and it was caught right over there in that little bay area. And what would a great meal be without the dessert? Now I want to thank all of our followers and commenters who told us we had to try Halo Halo when we're back in the Philippines. We are back and I am so grateful you told us to try it because now that's what we're going to have. If you're not familiar with Halo Halo, it means mix mix. So it's basically a hodgepodge of a bunch of different wonderful sugary sweet desserts. There's ube ice cream, I know that's always involved, and vanilla ice cream, these beans, mung beans, and then these like jelly-filled beans, we have a, we had a lot of them in Thailand also. And the red ones are jellies, and the little yellow thing, that is leche, and then they pour the milk on top of it. You mix it all together. Oh, so cold! The mung beans create a really great texture for it. The ube ice cream is Super, it's uber delicious. And tons of coconut and there's little crunchies on there too. This is worth the hype. I understand why you all love it so much. Uh, the milk makes it a lot better. There's one more dessert we need to show you and it is a Filipino Christmas delicacy and it is called Kukabongong. It is a ube paste steamed and rolled up and then it, there's coconut flakes and a raw brown sugar and then uh, over here is cheese. So a little bit of those ingredients all together. I see how all those flavors come together. The ube has like a buttery taste to it. It's like when you chew it, like on a butter kind of comes out. And then the coconut, of course, coconut. All of that together, really, really delicious. I understand why people wanna celebrate Christmas with it. I'm glad you guys like this. Without a doubt, the best Filipino food I've ever had. But we're gonna try to make it back into Manila here before traffic gets too bad because the traffic in Manila is unreal. While we're in Manila, this time we wanted to stay in BGC. So we're at the Raffles Makati and that is part of the Fairmont Hotel. We have a studio bedroom, but it's really big and the bathroom's really big too, so we're plenty comfortable and we're only here for two nights which means we have to pack a lot into the two days and we're off on our next little activity. Well, despite our best efforts to beat the traffic last night, we did not. It took us several hours to get back into BGC, but here we are on a brand new day and we're gonna meet up with Mom Duty, another YouTuber family from California, and they've been living here for a couple of months. We're gonna experience the Mine Museum right here. Mom Duty is Rocio, Melvin, and their two kids, Mia and Knox, and they're the same age as Colton Brooklyn, so they're getting to know each other. I know, I love it. They're playing with other kids finally. It's really exciting. I'm so glad we got to meet I am too. It was last minute that we connected and we happened to be in the same city. It's amazing that we're both traveling families and we were able to be in the same city at the same time. What are the chances? It's crazy, <laughs> amazing. So we're gonna let the kids play around for a bit, get to know each other, which didn't take long. They're actually no. all best friends like now. Best friends, it's so cute. <laughs> they like have nicknames for each other, it's super sweet. They're at a science 
Science Museum. So they are going to learn and play and uh, just have a blast. And they're like the only ones here. We're the only ones here. So we basically have this whole museum for ourselves. Bloggers Day at the museum. Yay, Bloggers Day! <laughs> this is the space section of the museum, but everything is very immersive and educational, but I think our kids are all finding new ways, creative ways to use everything in here, like just pushing all the buttons or kicking all the balls around the place. It's incredible how much they have in common. It's like bizarro world where our families have so many tie-ins. I mean, from having homes in California before, our love for the Philippines and the ages of the kids, the interests of the kids, and just a general approach to why we're living this way, traveling the world and trying to give our kids a different experience. It's really crazy to talk to them because it's just complete synergy. It's awesome. This is actually our first collab and it's their first collab. But it's not just the kids who have a lot in common. I noticed that you're carrying the big camera in the I, family. Is that? This is. The, I'm. I'm the videographer. This and is I'm the, right here. I'm the videographer. And Peak Design. <laughs> oh no way! I didn't even notice that. Is that peak Design. And I have the uh, Peak Travel yeah. tripod. Do you, you don't have one of these, do you? I do. Boom. It's the other one. Uh, oh, it's the other one too. <laughs> I have. I have too many of them. Another thing we have in common is we're, we're the same height. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. look. <laughs> nah, <I'm> joking. <laughs> Turns out we're not the only ones in the museum all day. More people eventually came in, and we're heading out. We're going to check out what's around this area, and we have got to try a Jollibee's. We have had outpouring of comments telling us that we have to try Jollibee's, and it's going to be our first time. Since this is our first time, I have to get the crispy chicken sandwich. Now, crispy chicken sandwiches at fast food restaurants is kind of a big deal in the U.S., so we have a little bit of a comparison with it, and we'll see how Jollibee's does. I'm expecting big things here. I'm thinking OOE, one of everything, but I gotta try the tuna pie. I have a feeling that's a pretty famous thing here. Gotta try a Yum Burger just to see how it compares to a typical McDonald's cheeseburger. And of course, the chicken sandwich. Fast friends, I love it. I really hope that we stay in touch with everybody, but especially I hope those girls keep in touch because they're gonna be friends forever, I think. That's their handshake. It's the longest handshake. This is the moment of truth. I'm like nervous and excited because everybody has worked up this sandwich so much. I don't want to be disappointed. So far it's busting. It is busting because that sauce, is that a mayonnaise? Or it's like got a mustardy taste to it too, but it's delicious. I'm really digging the sauce and it's got garlic I think in it too. Really yummy and the chicken is really crispy. And this is the winner compared to the US chicken sandwiches. Jolly Bees takes it for sure because of the crispiness and the sauce done. And then let's talk about the bun. The bun, buttery and delicious. Mm. Of all fast food restaurants on earth, this is the one that you should go to. It's my favorite. Time for the tuna pie. Same packaging as the old McDonald's pies, the dessert pies, cherry pies, apple pies. It's basically a little hot pocket. Let's see if it's scalding hot like those things. It's exactly the same shape as a cherry pie from McDonald's. Mmm. Oh my. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think this, this is one of those places that reuses a lot of the same ingredients from one dish to another. Because I think it's the same sauce from the chicken sandwich that's mixed in with the tuna inside of here. This is the flakiest, crunchiest shell imaginable. I could eat some of these. This is good. Enough food for us. It's time for some drinks. The adults are thirsty and Nelvin has got a place to take us. Yeah, what is your favorite animal you've ever come across during your travels? Dogs, dogs, dogs. Dogs? Awesome. Brooklyn, what about you? Remember that? lemur that we held? Oh, yes. Knox, yes. we have a question for you. All your travels, what is your favorite animal that you've come across? This is a hard one. Let me think, let me think. Okay, I got it. A couple of cats in Cappadocia. There's a lot of cats there. It's actually one of the cat capital. Oh, what about you? That I've ever right. come across. Oh, um, the yeah, first yeah. time I ever saw a toke gecko. That toke that one was in Gorakai. Since Rocio and Nelvin have been here for a while, they're pretty much locals. They're gonna show us around a little bit before we get that drink we've been promised. And this is the famous High Street, which is like a pedestrian mall covered in shopping, restaurants. Unfortunately, we're not gonna spend a lot of time here, but it was on our list to do that because they've got some fantastic restaurants and really high-end brands. And I heard there's a Michelin star food court. That is right up our alley. So if we had more time, we would do that. So 
When we come back, that's gonna be on the list to do. This is one of the very few 4D billboards on the planet. They have them in Manhattan, they have them I think in Tokyo. I don't know where else, but when you look at it from the right angle across the street here, it's really hard to understand that you're not looking into a three-dimensional room or seeing things pop out of the, the billboard. It's incredible. This is nuts. It's gonna blow your mind because it's really blowing my mind about how similar our kids are. The girls are like the same person. And the boys also, they love catching lizards. And you're not gonna believe that Knox also loves to taste wine, which is crazy because how do we find two of them? He's taking us to Mr. Wine. Dr. Wine. Dr. Wine. Delectable. Nice dry taste, full body. Yeah, I love it. Let's see if it works. Through to friendship and uh, just finding things in common and connecting. Amazing. We have my cocktail and everyone else has wine. And we're gonna have to talk shop a little bit because we're gonna trade secrets. And we have so much in common. We're gonna learn a lot from each other. So you're gonna see us improving our content. They're gonna be improving their content. Yes. Wait up. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to improve my bicep. Yeah. And Phil here is giving me some tips right now. Workout tips. <laughs> the workout tips. We're sharing all the good secrets with each other. But you gotta check out Mom Duty. They have their YouTube channel. Go see them. They're also on Instagram, so you can follow them everywhere and uh, you should also be following us so hit that subscribe button <laughs> this was meant to be this is truly awesome we've all found our new BFFs every single one of us and we unfortunately have to leave them we're really sad to leave but we're off to the airport now we're going to Don Sol we're gonna swim with some whale sharks there so I hope you keep following us along and join us on our next episode Thank you, it's so good. <laughs>